एवरी वन टूडे न्यू टॉपिक इज लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन वॉट इज मीन माई लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन हियर लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट पॉपुलर मिशन लर्निंग ऑल गरिदम ओके विच कम्स अंडर द सुपरवाइज लर्निंग टेक्निक इट इज यूज फॉर प्रोडक्टिंग द कैटेगरल डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल यूजिंग ए गिवन सेट ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स इट मीन्स इट इज यूज फॉर प्रोडिक्शन द कैटेगरल डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल by using what by using the given set of independent variables by using independent variables it will predict the dependent variable okay logistic regression predicts the output of a categorical dependent variable therefore the outcome must be categorical or discrete value okay it consists of only categorical or discrete value it means it find the output of a categorical dependent variable by using what independent variable it can be either s yes or no zero or one true or false etc binary only it will generate what output it generate the binary output only but instead of giving the exact value as zero and one it gives the probabilistic value which lies between zero and one okay what for what it is giving the between zero and one because therefore the outcome must be in a categorical or discrete value only okay logistic regression is much similar to the linear regression okay it is similar to the linear regression expect that how they are used means same similar to the linear regression only but usage of this logistic regression is different from the linear regression okay linear regression is used for solving regression problems whereas logistic regression is used for solving the classification problems and before we have done the classification of uh, classes in a data set what will be that linear discriminant analysis we have done right here we are using logistic regression to solve this classification problems okay next logistic regression can be used to classify the observations using different types of data and can easily determine the most effective variable used for the classification okay here you can see we have logistic equation here y is equals to b not plus b1 x1 plus b2 x2 plus b3 x3 plus so on bn xn okay the logistic regression equation can be obtained from the linear regression equation only you can check in the linear regression video same formula will be there here but in logistic regression will set up in a mathematical form okay next a logistic regression y can be between 0 and 1 only i have already so, uh, said that in this logistic regression we use only 0 or 1 true or false okay the in that case the logistic regression y can be between the 0 and 1 only okay so if for this let's divide the above equation by 1 by 1 minus y by using 1 minus y we can get 0 or 1 okay next but we need range between infinity to in positive in ma, negative infinity to positive in, infinity then take logarithm logarithm of the equation it will become log y by 1 minus y is equals to b not plus b1 x1 plus b2 x2 plus b3 x3 plus so on b1 x bn xn for what sake we are using this log y by 1 minus y because to get the regression value between 0 and 1 only we are using this and also to get minus infinity or to plus infinity okay this is the logistic regression what are the types of logistic regression here we have basically three types that is binomial multinomial and ordinal what is mean by binomial in binomial logistic regression there can be only two possible types of the dependent variables such as 0 or 1 pass or fail true or false etc this is binomial binomial will get only true or a false either true other false okay only two values whereas multinomial in multinomial logistic regression there can be three or more possible unordered types of the dependent variables here we'll get three outputs of the dependent variables what is this such as cats dogs or sheep okay by giving any out of five it will give all three or more possible outputs okay 
Next, ordinal. In ordinal logistic regression, there can be three or more possible order types of dependent variables such as low, medium or high. Okay? Thank you.